Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring. Here we are in, uh, where actually are we? What is this place called? Seaside Ruins. We just took care of the Forlorn Hound Everjail, and uh, we're still along the coast. Now today, I do think it's time that we make our way... I was going to go look for the Glintstone Key, and now I'm thinking maybe I want to do Mistwood. No, we're going to go look for the Glintstone Key. We are going to do that today, but before we do that, I want to drop down to the coast here. I did see a fire just looking over the side here. Now, to give you an idea of where we are at, that waterfall, just on the other side, that's where I encountered the skeletons, where I saw that phantom bridge, which I did see. If you didn't see that episode, I even took a screenshot of when it appeared, and then it just suddenly disappeared, and I put it in the video. But there's a fire down there, so I'm just curious. Maybe there's an NPC, or, you know, just could be a little bandit camp or something like that. But of course, always, as always, here are my stats, level 32. I don't know how long it's been that way. I don't know how long it's going to be that way, but it could be a while. So we're going to start just by dropping down. There's actually, you know what, there's a spirit spring or a wellspring, a torrent spring, whatever you want to call it, right over, where is it? Right here. And if we fall into that, we don't take any fall damage, which is great. So helpful. Just so helpful. Now, we want to be careful here. Okay, the edge is pretty clearly outlined, and I like that. But also looks like there is a demi-human near that campfire, so that might just be a little demi-human camp. But let's see if we can sneak up on him. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Can I have that? Of course you can shoot things. I can shoot things too. You can sidestep very quickly. Back up. There it is. There's the knockdown. And there's the finish. Can I please have whatever it is you just did? I can actually. Gravitas. Just reminds me of Captain Holt from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Anyway, Gravitas. So gravity magic's a thing, and I want to start kind of playing around with that. And I can never remember where the Ashes of War are. There we have it. So it's in the magical magical set. Okay. Skill originating from the Alabaster Lords, who had skin of stone. Was that an Alabaster Lord, I guess? Thrusting the armament into the ground to create a gravity well. In addition to dealing damage, this attack pulls enemies in. Cool. Very cool. Alright, glad we hopped out. That is something special. Any caves to explore? Over here? Oh, wait. Yes, I do believe there is. Oh, wait, don't forget, we have a lantern. Did I just turn it? Oh, I turned it off. Actually, that's not bad lighting. And that way I don't need to have my stupid torch out. <gasps> this is the item. This is the item from... The <laughs> this is the tutorial area. That's the Cave of Knowledge. And it's the Halig Drake Talisman. Oh, how fun. Very cool. All right. So, talisman. Boost holy damage negation. The ancient dragons who ruled. Nah, it's the same thing. So it's just the protection. All right, cool. Well, that's just really exciting. I don't know why I got so excited. It's just, I've seen, I've watched a few people start their Let's Plays not watching anything with spoilers, but just, you know, watching to see where people go. Because it's so fascinating. You hit that open world and some people, uh, kind of like myself, at first were like, all right, let's follow the directed path. Let's see where it wants us to go. And other people say, no, 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 that's that's exactly where I don't want to go. And they just go and do their own thing, which I just think is such a cool dichotomy in the player base. And uh, everyone, everyone tries to get that. And I do mean everyone. And everyone fails because you just can't. All right, Crabbo. Yeah, uh, that's... Maybe you can get that repose, but it's so fast. I 
I want to knock him down. Can I do that? Maybe with one more air, he's gonna die. Oh, gross! <laughs> Do you hear that squish? That squish is disgusting. Lump of flesh. Alright, let's just take a quick look at the beach. Just to see if there's anything else. I don't think there is. I mean, we have oh, some glowing, or a glowing skull at least. Got that. And otherwise, that's it. So you can get that really, really early on. Oh, wow. Oh, no, no, no. I'm dead. I am so very dead. <laughs> that was worth it. <laughs> oh, gravitas. <laughs> that doesn't even sound like Captain Holt. That sounds like Zavala. Or silence, depending on, you know, which video game you're playing with that voice actor with Lance Reddick. Oh, of course, it's right in there. And where do I want to drop again? Right, just walk this way? Yes, okay. We'll just get these and then we will fast travel out of here because it doesn't seem like there's anything else. Right, so like I said, we're going to now go after the Glintstone Key, which is going to be up here. I believe. We'll, once we get to the South uh, South Rail Lucaria Gate, we'll take a look at the map fragment again to see if that is indeed the island. I think, I think it is. Right, so inventory. Was it a key item? No, it's not a key item. It's right here. The meeting place map. Well, let's see. Maybe it's not. Because you have that sunken city. I'm touching my monitor like you can see it. Like you're looking over my shoulder. I'm actually touching and saying, that sunken city, that is the the sunken uh, gate city or whatever they called it. And then that's just assuming that this is oriented, you know, north at the top. It's northwest of that. So let's see if that lines up to what we thought. Hmm. Hmm. Well, now I'm not sure. Is that the sunken city? Maybe it wasn't oriented correctly? See, I kind of thought it was the Academy Gate Town. And then maybe it's this. Because if it's the Academy Gate Town, if it was actually oriented with West up at the top, it could be this. And I'm not convinced it's not. This does seem very obscure because it's just like a collection of rocks. All right, I need to look at it again. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's let's use this. So, uh, again, that has to be Rhea Lucaria, right? And then there's this little rocky outcropping on the left side. And then southwest of that is the island. With a little, little island right next to it. Now, with that... Okay, it is that. Because, yep, there's the rocky outcropping. There's that little rocky island. So that is it. That is definitely it. So, we're just going to rush. At least partially rush it. Right? We can't just drop down. Here's that silly fire monk chariot. Excuse me, everyone. Pardon me, pardon me. Coming through. Don't mind me, I never do. Excuse me, folks. Thanks for having me. Lovely place. I just bounced on your head. And here we go. Ignore the crab. Hopefully don't run into that bear. And we just start making our way this way. Something died. I don't know how. It's actually kind of a little ways away. And I do want to check out... Oh, stupid barrage flowers. Which we can easily avoid. Okay, hold on. Ruins over here. <laughs> We're just going to play a little ping pong. Every time I see something interesting, we'll go there and then we'll reorient. This is definitely... This is a church. This church may have a sacred tear in it. Uh Oh! 
Look who it is. There you are. You claimed a great room and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table home. What was your impression? <laughs> uh oh. They didn't seem right or they were magnificent. Am I role playing this or if I am I being honest? Because they were horrifying. I think I think honesty is going to be the best policy. Yeah, they didn't seem right. Uh -huh. Your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up. You see, the words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe that when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted. Their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. Okay, I'm glad I was on it. Oh, there's something gross inside here. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only for the wise. Festering bloody fingers. Oh, I don't know, my friend. You look... Are you dingier than you were? Are you bloody? A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I've high hopes for you, my lambkin. What a cute pet name he has for us. So I wonder if we only get that if we tell him that they didn't seem right. Now the festering, did I already have those? I did, yeah. So this is just the invasion items. Be sure to try that finger I gave. There's no reason the tarnished was spurned by grace, forsaken by the two fingers. And now they ask you to mend their crumbling world? <laughs> Your loyalties are misplaced with them. Now, well, I wouldn't say I have loyalties to them at all. Rose Church. No lost sight of grace. Really thought there would be. Hey, another cookbook. And what does that give me? Not that I'll necessarily know just by... I just keep looking for Trina's arrows. <laughs> Which I haven't gotten yet. So what did you give me? I... I truly don't know. Oh, these are easy to make. I just have to, you know, hunt turtles. Let's take a look at... Do those fall under the key items, the cookbooks? They do, right? That was 12? Cursed, ooh, cursed blood pot. I did not see that. So is that a bleed pot? It, it no, it's not. Throw it a douse enemy with a cursed blood. I don't know what that does. What do I need? Beast blood and blood rose. I have them. I can't use them. Causing, oh, oh, okay. Never mind. I'm glad I read this. Throw at enemies to douse them in a cursed blood, causing summoned spirit to assail them with a rabid fervor. A childhood memory of the Lord of Blood. Oh, yes. Please. In fact, I like those so... Well, no, we won't. I was gonna... Hi! Oh! Did you just go right through my shield? Oh. Oh. Um. That's not a lot of damage. Unlike what you just did to me, which was a lot of damage. Oh my. Okay, Stake America. Um, he has Reduvia in his offhand, but I want that rapier. I want that rapier right now. I think bleed build is becoming a favorite of mine just because the weapons are so cool. Hey, do you want to come in and help, by the way? Be sure to try them. You sure don't. Alrighty. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the usual. Let's get my runes. Okay, back up. 
Oh, that's a cool move. Okay, if I, if I bleed, I'm gonna get hurt. No surprise there. Oh, blood loss. Oh, he does not, uh, he does not stagger easily. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wow. Wait, blood loss is not just, not just, uh, damn it. Oh, criminy. Oh, and he can cover a lot of ground. All right. Look at that armor, too. All right, how better to take him on? You know what? I think we're just going to go two-hand. Blocking is not a good idea because I'm still taking that bleed damage. So we'll just... And we go. Oh, of course we had to wait. Okay, good stagger. There we go, jumping R2, beautiful. Oh! There we go, all right. Shield is not always the best option. Oh, come on! Give me that rapier! You, frog people? Oh, that was a bummer. Really and truly, that was a bummer. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. Anyway, what were we doing? <laughs> Going after a Clintstone key. We have a Dung Beetle. And I'm still buffed, so let's just go for it. Nice and quick. Oh, don't you do it. Oh, you're so fast. Oh, no, 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 it's gonna disappear. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Blood Flame Blade, yes, please. I think that's the weapon art I was looking for. All right, Land Octopus, Land Octopus. Ooh, Shrine of some sort. Shrine of some description. And there's an item there, and we do want it. I think so. Level two times three. Yes, very worth it. Very worth it. Why are you so gross? Okay, run, 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 run. That was close. So what is this? Temple quarter. There's another stake of America nearby, but there there's has to be a site of. Whoa. Gotta be a site of grace nearby, right? Let's look on the outskirts for a site. There's another uh, temple or a little shrine. Just horribly surrounded by those flowers. And they're already summoning. Okay, maybe that's more smithing, though. Yes, another three, even. Wow. Now we're getting somewhere. I don't see any swirling lights, though. Which is a real shame. I do have the Stake of America, though, so... It's not like I will go too far back. I can summon, and I might, but I just... There's some floating things over there. Oh, here we go. So we can actually rest here. Is there anything else I wanted to do? I don't think so. 
I am kind of curious though what's maybe in here in the temple quarter anything labeled like this has treasure I mean that's just that's what I've come to expect lots more Trina lilies and by lots I mean three giant flower goodbye how far can you shoot because it seems like that's getting close Oh, there's the treasure. Somehow unguarded? I'm sorry. Ice rind hatchet? Only 11 strength. I can one hand this with one more point of strength. Hoarfrost stomp. And it costs frost buildup. A hatchet with a frost coated blade, one of several gifts given by Castle Soul. In the distant north, known as Freezing Fog, the blade is thought to be a dragon scale. It looks like a dragon scale. It inflicts a powerful frost effect. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to be trying that out. Once we get one more point of uh, strength. That's cool. That's really cool. Alright, but... Oh, 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 oh. That's nah, just crystal blood. I don't know. Thought that was something else. So let's head to the uh, Glintstone Key location. And you know that these are going to... Wait. What are these going to do? Oh my gosh, you're all dung beetles. What are you going to give me? Not, not a darn thing. What? Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jump off. And we are going to... Not that. That's not what I wanted at all. Do they have a chance of dropping anything? Because what a bummer if not. Hmm. Uh, hi, yes, question in the back. Why is there a dragon? Now, okay, I did see someone who was able to zoom in. Ah, you can use the D-pad. Yeah, there's a dragon. Just a little fun fact for you. So, is that where the key is? Okay, I know. What am I doing? Running away. We're going to go take on the dragon. We're at least going to go take a look. Also, look at that tree right there. Hmm. We, we're going to take it on. But I want to pop my head over here. This island just seems... Oh, there we go. Suspicious. What the flip-flop? No, we don't do that. But I hear the tinkling again, like he's back. Unless it's just the floating ones. Is it possible he just teleported somewhere else? It might just be the floating ones. I mean, he, he just went so fast. Maybe I have to sneak... Oh, there he is. Or is... No, that's one that fell. That's just one that fell. Look at how fast... Okay, that's weird. How am I supposed to kill him? Feel like I hear him. He might be up top again. Nope, there he is. Can I sneak up on him? Get get down low. Hey, we got him. And we got Thop's Barrier. Or Top's Barrier. Really? So, Brother Top has some more skill than maybe he's leading uh, leading us to believe? So, Top's Barrier. Hmm. Erect a magical force field while swinging the shield to deflect... 
can also be used in the same way as a regular parry. So this gives you spell parry. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. All right. Oh, man. That was cool. And I wonder if we can get some more dialogue out of him now that we can say, Hey, by the way, you liar. That's a big dragon. I can summon, you know, so that's... That's something. He's waking up. He's waking up. He's waking up. Dragon wound grease. Kukri's and... Hey, an Academy Glintstone. And he actually doesn't know where I am. <clears throat> so... Oh, yes, he does. Glintstone, Dragon, Smareg. Good. Now, are you just going to be the same as a Gil? I mean, I'll, we're going to try it. Oh, what is going to happen? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to go really well. Nope, 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 nope. He's got magical breath. That didn't go well. I just want to... Wow! What do you got going on? Something horrible. Wow. Times a thousand. I didn't hit him once. They hit him for like 28 damage total. Okay. We're going to give that another go. This time, I would like to uh, hit him. That's just me. Can you actually use summons from horseback? You cannot. Well, actually, I don't know because I'm not in range. Yes, you can. Oh, that's neat. Okay, here we go. I mean, you can get some free damage, it seems. Oh, that's a lot of damage, though. Or, it seems like a lot. Okay. I mean, we're actually hitting him. Uh-oh. Chase the tail? Is the, is the idea... Whoa! I don't know if the chasing the tail is the best idea. I didn't actually mean to switch to this, but you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe bleed is going to be the way to go here. Because we can... Wow. That's a huge AoE. Just gigantic AoE. My gosh. I just want to see if he can be bled. What are you doing? Oh. You would think that he can, right? I mean... Well, maybe not. Oh, he can. Alright, actually, that's not a bad tactic. Alright, run to the side, run to the side. This is where Torrent definitely makes that easier. Where is he? Whoa, okay. Okay, do a stomp. Ah, didn't get the dodge off in time. Terrible. 
Oh. Okay, gotta delay that dodge. Where are you? <laughs> Ooh, okay. That's a tough one to get away from. Well, I think we could do it. I think we could do it. I don't know if I want to get Imps to help me with the bleed. Maybe? Hmm. But anyway, taking him on is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying. And I hope you're getting a chance to play this amazing game for yourself. Thank you for stopping by, and I will see you next time.